Maybe you emailed them. Maybe you suggested on their social media page. And you just don't see it. Now, now you I'm can laugh if you want to, but it works. <laughs> Creamy petroleum jelly. So this comes out, it's a skin okay. soft oil. And then to make that aesthetically pleasing type of, <laughs> once it solidifies, it's gonna be a really great application. You know what we need to talk about? I was thinking about how there are lots of fragrances that come with body butters, but then there's lots of fragrances that don't. And then you wish they would come out with something. Maybe you emailed them, maybe you suggested on their social media page and you just don't see it. I'm about to share with you how to make, how to turn any fragrance into a body butter or body cream. Let me show you what you're gonna need first. Your perfume oils. I would go with perfume oils only because fragrances with any type of alcohol are not recommended because it's going to separate from the body cream. Trial and error. So I'm just passing it on to y'all. Fragrance oils, perfume oils only. So I have a few here. I'm going to go over with you. A few of rollerball perfumes I've gotten from a beauty supply store. Fun fact. I'm giving y'all the plug in case y'all don't know. Beauty supply stores are the perfect place to get these rollerball perfumes, especially if you want to sample something that costs, you know, a guap. Okay. We have mango. I'm not sure what that's a rendition of. Some of them are just purely like made up, which makes it even better until you have to restock it and you wind up liking it. There is a rendition of But Naked. Um, sorry, that is the name of the title, you know. Here, Burberry, I don't know which one that this is supposed to emulate, nor are they affiliated with any of the companies. So just letting y'all know that. It's a Kim Kardashian W type body oil. This smells like a Kim Kardashian fragrance I had a while back in a black bottle. No, it's just too much to me till it like made me nauseated, but it nevertheless it was a gorgeous smelling perfume this one here my favorite out of the bunch of the roller balls at least black butter this one <laughs> i think i may demonstrate to y'all how to make this and then we have my beloved from sweet essentials midnight poison type this is in a spray bottle but you could still use something like this that's from the christian dior poison line i think they have about seven or eight in that line your Coco Mademoiselle. So that's a rendition of Coco Mademoiselle. So these are the ones I picked out for now to make body butters out of. I'm going to go with black butter first. I don't know how we're going to get this out, but we'll figure it out. We, we shall. You're going to need containers to put your body butter in. Now, I don't have a whole lot of kind of larger empty canisters. I picked these up from my last, from my Walmart hygiene shopping vlog because i said these are perfect for travel but they're also perfect for what we're doing now now you can laugh if you want to but it works <laughs> creamy petroleum jelly so this comes out it's a skin softener now there's the traditional petroleum jelly that people like to make and laugh jokes about and it's in the baby aisle and it's good for you know taking care you know the diaper rashes of your baby but I found out about this long, long time ago. They had a skin softener. And so it applies like a body cream. It's just completely unscented, which makes the perfect foundation and base for you to make your fragranced body cream. You'll see what I'm talking about. You will need, make sure all the water is out of it. I thoroughly rinse this. You're going to need an empty container. This is a separate Tupperware container strictly for making my skincare body care stuff. You're going to need a separate container just for body care and mixing your ingredients for this recipe. You're going to need a top to store it in case you don't have a jar to put it in. I'm going to show you how to store it. Then you're going to need something to mix it with. I would suggest plastic utensils, a knife. I prefer to do it by hand, my mixing by hand, only because my mixer that I use to make, to mix up cake batter and brownies, all that good stuff, 
I don't have an extra one specifically for this, so I'd rather do it by hand. And lastly, we have here gloves to put on. I normally do it without gloves. I would suggest to use gloves just because, you know, you if you're gifting this to somebody else, I tend to do this a whole lot without gloves. And the only way that you could pass for doing that is just if you're going to thoroughly wash your hands. If it's for yourself and you still want to use the glove, choice is yours. I just suggest that if, if you go after making this particular body butter cream so forth that try not to go without gloves unless you're ready to wash your hands thoroughly it cuts down on your cleanup time well let's get into it so first step is going to try to get on these gloves even with my nails because i kind of don't want this stuff underneath my nails unless i'm applying this so there's that that's the best that we can do so there's there's that <laughs> I like to have one hand free for my mixing. So we have here, I'm going to zoom in a bit more. We're going to start with the base of this creamy petroleum jelly. I'm sorry, that is just the name. This is basically unscented. It has like a rather light smell, but it won't overpower the fragrance oil, perfume oil that we're going to put in this. I don't measure, so I just go according to what type of container I'm going to put it in. We're going to do two cents today these two jars so that amount would be infinitely lower so that's what we're dealing with very very light mild scent so it can basically take on the fragrance of anything you can see if we can get this body butter open here we're going to use the black butter roller ball now i don't measure i just go according to how much fragrance i want to use and we have the roller ball off so we have our base here, which is the cream petroleum jelly. It literally has a base of, um, it's literally like a, a scentless body cream. You want to start with a little at a time, or if you want a lot of fragrance, a lot at a time, which means you would have to use less if you just put in all your amount first. Now we use a plastic knife to go in here. And you want to vigorously mix this down because you want to well combine both this cream and the fragrance. Also a benefit to using fragrance oil only that you will have that moisturizing factor of the oil and it smells really good. You see how it's barely sticking to mixing bowl here and we just sample it out. Let's give it a smell and we're successful. We got a fragrance body cream, black butter body cream. And the way that this cream applies, it applies body cream on the drier side. Putting the fragrance oil kind of makes it a tad bit greasy depending on the type of fragrance oil you use and how, how that fragrance oil and how the perfume oil was formulated in the first place but it absorbs quickly, healthy skin, and you get more of that fragrance because you're in control of how much fragrance goes into that body cream. Some companies may go lighter on the fragrance. Let's get this mixture into our first container here. I have a backup 0.75 ounce, just under one ounce travel jar. I decided to take the glove off because it was just goodness I, I myself don't mind going to wash my hands often and my hands are already clean definitely want to start off with clean hands clean everything clean utensils and using a plastic knife to mix definitely going to need two one to mix it and another one to put it into your storage jars and there we have black butter body cream and you can use this with any fragrance just make sure it's fragrance oil and then to make that aesthetically pleasing type of <laughs> swirl that you get that's when you open the jar it makes it that more it, it looks whipped best part about that is you now have a set the body cream fragrance the same and the fragrance oil I've got this to clean up. Now I'm going to show you guys what you could do to make a nice creamy body butter from shea butter. Shea butter. Potato, potato. So when you're using the shea butter method, shea butter, I like to use unrefined where it doesn't look like that, you know, infamous yellow color. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to section off 
a piece that would be perfect to fit in this last empty vacant travel jar here and you want to buy the block of the shea butter and the thing about unrefined shea butter is that it's on its own it's naturally creamy without having to add any extra oils, any extra moisturizers, any extra anything. This should be enough for that little jar. I didn't want to cut out too big of a block. Now what I'm going to go in with here is my ultimate favorite. For those that know, you know. For those that don't, that's okay. Midnight Poison. This is Christian Dior. So this is the rendition of it. Perfume oil, alcohol free. Very important to use fragrance oils for that reason alone. You don't want alcohol being in your perfume oil so that you're getting ready to make this body butter because it's going to cause it to separate from whatever you use as your base product. Portion out into this cap that belongs on the spray nozzle. A little more than half, but it'll work. And if you need to, you can use more fragrance oil, perfume oil to your liking. It's kind of hard to mix and show you guys, so let me show you what it looks like after I do that. And here we have the body cream for Midnight Poison. This is a perfume rendition. They're not affiliated with Christian Dior, but this is from Sweet Essentials. Not sponsored. Just really, really love this perfume oil. It's alcohol free. I used unrefined shea butter and I also tried doing those swirls with that. I didn't use a mixer, so this is the best I can come up with. A plastic knife you guys see here. Best part about using unrefined shea butter is once this solidifies at room temperature, so long as you're not consistently keeping this in the rather warm hot temperatures like what we're approaching right now depending on where you are, this is going to make for a really nice body cream that's going to dry into your skin and make it like really really shiny and healthy and moisturizing. Your skin's literally going to glow and it's going to smell good at the same time. I don't so you guys can see. Now it looks yellow from here, but it's unrefined. Yeah, definitely. Now I'm going to give you guys a side by side comparison of this Midnight Poison body. More of a, on the greasy side. So this uh, creamy petroleum jelly method, that's more on the drier side. I would suggest this in the summer using that base and using unrefined shea butter for the winter. So we're going to both do a side-by-side -side comparison and a demonstration of both this body butter and this body cream using two different bases, meaning foundations in which we mix the fragrance into. So the first we have from a rollerball perfume called Black Butter. We used a base of creamy petroleum jelly. It's okay, but it works. And it's perfect for the summer because you'll have an application of fragrance, but it won't be greasy. And that's key for the summer. I go into further detail here. And the thing about using this method is that I didn't even have to try too hard to smell this. I mean, it smells incredible. Do you, do you see? I mean, it's beautiful. And you can do this with any fragrance. It just has to be a perfume oil. Oils tend to mix better into things like this, in shea butter especially, and into something like a creamy petroleum gel. Well, basically, it's like a scentless body cream. I've been doing this years, years ago with a, a massage oil from Avon, a far away embrace and that slightly lavender purple packaging. Yeah, so that's what you're gonna get with that. And because this is on the drier side of application, which I'll show you guys up close, fragrance is gonna last longer. And then, I mean, the absorption. Our body cream with Midnight Poison, Christian Dior. This is the perfume rendition from Sweet Essentials. Not sponsored, 
So shea butter is a bit greaser, especially the unrefined. Now I can't speak on the refined shea butter, but what I can speak on is unrefined. And the good thing about this is once it solidifies, it's going to be a really great application. Black butter body cream or body butter. This is mine to use. I'm not gifting it or selling it or anything. Purely for my personal usage. It's not a large enough amount for me to really show y'all. And you see how I'm having to put a bit more effort to work it into my skin. Quick absorption. And it's The shea butter base a bit different so we're opening this up a little goes a long way and you're getting more of a glow here and it looks a bit more greasier than this side and you see the difference so definitely here you still have more of the fragrance throughout it but it's a bit more moisturizing a bit more greasier a bit more effort to put on side comparison you make the choice for yourself drier application on the left moisturizing and more greasier application on the right they'll both carry the fragrance well and that ladies and gentlemen is how to turn any fragrance into body butter and body cream. I love each and every one of you and I will see you all next.